this unit is not running. We did have a high pressure lockout on here. So I'm wondering if the condenser fans are not running, but we will find out very soon. You can tell our, one of our fans is running, the other one is not running, but this honestly looks like it's electrically bad. I mean, it might be the capacitor, but that's uh, looky looky. And one way to also see is we have our condenser fan relay here. Oh damn, it locked out already. Huh? That's messed up. Ah, these two black wires are your two condenser fans. So you just put it on amps and see what you're getting. I was getting 1.0 on one of them and then 0.1 on the other one. That just shows me that one of them is not running. It literally might be the capacitor, but let's check that right now since you are here with me. Damn, that's why you do that. <laughs> uh, this hasn't happened in a long time, <laughs> crazy. But that's exactly why you do it like this. You wanna discharge the capacitor. One, two, 9.9, 9.9. Okay, that's not our problem. So just to show you, I disconnected. This is one motor, this is the other motor. It's a 45. The other one is reading OL, so this is electrically bad. You should have some kind of continuity on your motor. Otherwise, I mean, how is the electricity gonna go through and create any work, you know, if you don't have continuity? So that's a bad motor, so we have to look if we have one. I don't think I have one, because I just got a new truck. Well, a new old truck, but uh, I thought I have it, but we can quote it and come back. And if you like these more like in-depth videos, troubleshooting and learning, connecting with other technicians, join the HR Game School community. We have courses on there and we collaborate. And I just love to see you there, you know, exchange knowledge, help you out and uh, grow you as a technician. Happy HR King.